place my whole life. Uh, I started go-karting when I was four years old, and then I just moved up the categories, and I got into a car when I was around 13, 14 years old. And then I started racing cars in like French Formula 4, and I finished third place in that championship. And then I did the Formula Renault, the 2.0, the NEC, and I, f I won that championship the year after uh, Lando Norris, who races for McLaren now in Formula One. And then I became a Formula E development driver for Venturi. And then I got signed by McLaren and here I am today. So uh, it was pretty good. Uh, I was racing for McLaren in uh, British GT last year. And uh, yeah, we had a pretty good season. It was my first year with them. Uh, yeah, we had a really great performance over the year. Uh, I did a lot of training leading up to the season. So about since when COVID started, we had to do a bunch of preparation. Mm -hmm. So I did a lot of training on the bike, a lot of physical training. And then I, uh, yeah, I went in and was fully prepared and it turned out to be a really good year. Uh, when I was growing up, I, I really liked Kimi. I, I really liked Kimi Raikkonen. Ice Man. Ice Man. I loved him, man, when, when I was growing up. And then like these guys in Formula One now, you know, I, I raced against some of them. So I, I raced against like Piastri. Uh, it was off F1 reserve in Alpine right now. And a lot of the guys in F2 I raced. And I, I I raced, I think, no, I, I practiced against Norris a few times and, you know, the, the level's really high yeah. and uh, obviously it motivates me more to see my competitors also doing very well because I want to beat them. There's only two seats, so I do need support to get into one of those two seats for, and uh, it's, it's really difficult if you don't have any support to get in there and since the availability is very low and there's a lot of demand in racing drivers, the, I just really need support to get one of those two seats. Yeah, obviously there's always going to be like ups and downs, highs and lows, but you just, just got to keep pushing forward, you know, and uh, we try to get it and hopefully we can. So, yeah, we'll just see what happens. If it happens, it happens, you know. I also had an opportunity in 2017 when I was racing with uh, in Formula E with Venturi and uh, just didn't have the backing at the time. And now in, you know, 2022, 2023, I have another opportunity to race with uh, McLaren and I just need the support to be able to get that opportunity. Yeah, you know, I've been dreaming about Formula One my whole life, you know, and uh, seeing a lot of the guys, you know, I've raced that, been there, tested and all that stuff in Formula One, it drives me more to just keep working harder and hopefully one day I can make it there. And yeah, that's been one of my goals my whole life. It's a lot of, a lot of training. You know, we did a lot of cycling. Uh, uh, well, uh, it, it depends on the day, <laughs> but like on the weekend, no, definitely not. Maybe like five, six hours a night of sleep and then you just start again the next day. But it's a lot of physical preparation and a lot of people don't really understand that. They think you just, you know, drive a car, but these cars are always ex really, really hot, really hot. And you're, it's, it takes a lot of physical training as we have like no power steering or anything. So it's just like the Formula E, for example, is, is 900 kilos and it's just you just trying to yeah. turn 900 kilos with no help at all, nothing, no assist. And it's really, really heavy. So you got to be really physically prepared to do a whole race only street tracks so we brought there's probably around uh i think 12 rounds so 12 different tracks and they're worldwide so you'll have like italy germany um they're they're coming to morocco now and then they have like south korea and all these different types of countries marrakesh is always very nice to race in as well and um you know it's just it's <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't really know how to explain it but like uh, it's probably one of the coolest tracks i've ever raced at and just how it is, you know? Yeah, no, the feeling of racing my home country was uh, was just absolutely, it was insane, you know, just seeing everybody there and then a bunch of fans supporting me. Well, to him, it means a lot because, you know, he saw me he saw me grow up from like go-karts and moving to every category. And I think from him, like seeing me win the championship in Formula Renault and then being a Formula E car, he's uh, very proud. And, you know, it makes it means a lot to me to make my parents happy and my dad happy and everything. So uh, I just keep pushing harder and I keep trying my best and keep doing everything I can to get to the next level and get to the highest step. Yeah, it's a step like it's just keep moving forward until I'm at the top and I won't stop until I'm at the top.